That was a bumpy ferry ride uh, from Jeju Island to Wando Island. Uh, escaping the second typhoon that's coming uh, tomorrow sometime. So I'm going to have to hide in a hotel for a couple days again here. Um, so yeah, I booked a hotel. It'll be two nights, just hang out and then uh, carry on my way back to Seoul. Wando. Hey, this looks like an interesting mix between uh, traditional fishing village and uh, touristy hotel resort area. is starting to pick up here so yeah definitely need to stay in hotel tonight I think uh, the typhoon isn't really supposed to arrive until kind of tomorrow around noon I think but in case it comes sooner if it picks up speed then I should be somewhere safe not just in my tent I think are you ready no. This is the uh, official campground uh, right across from the hotel. Doesn't look like there's anyone here. Uh, probably could be closed because of Corona and uh, obviously the typhoon. So but yeah, I think the hotel is better tonight. Yeah. It's starting to rain. Uh, so maybe in two days after the typhoon. There we go. I guess that'll do. Um, $38 US a night. Uh, so a little pricey for this, but uh, the beach is right there. Convenience store down the street. Um, yeah, the uh, two typhoons in a row last week and this week are uh, kind of killing the budget here, having to stay in hotels. It's... Uh, it's getting pretty crazy out there. It's 5 p.m. I think the worst of it's not until 10 p.m. tonight. Here we go, post typhoon sunshine. Still quite windy though. Heading north 500 kilometers or so to Seoul. And uh, there is a third typhoon on its way. So three typhoons in three weeks. It's getting kind of ridiculous. So I need to try and outrun this third typhoon and get close to Seoul before it catches up. The main road was just getting too noisy for me, too much traffic. I'd get off out into the country here. Much quieter.
All right, time to cook dinner. <laughs> I'm gonna try pasta with tom yum soup powder. And uh, a guy just stopped and uh, gave me a coffee. So I guess that's uh, for breakfast tomorrow. Try to eat quick and just got a little bit more daylight. I don't know, keep, keep going. I don't think this is a good spot to sleep right by the road. Keep looking, I guess. Nice sunset. I should have stayed up at that last viewpoint. Don't know what I was thinking. I wanted to keep going while there was still light, but uh, <laughs> it was seven o'clock sunset. Uh, yeah, September the third today. And on second thought, I think right back behind this monument, there's some uh, nice flat ground, kind of out of the way. Maybe a little bit sheltered from the traffic noise, so I think I'll try that. I think that's that is the best option today. Not bad. Still up in the mountains a little, so it was a little bit cooler and less humid. It was very nice. Pretty cool little old city. I have about an hour of daylight left, um, but I really need to do <laughs> more here to stick to my schedule. Uh, it's tough. There's there was a bunch of sports parks along the river here, which would have worked to camp at, but uh, I really need to go further. Coming up, I've got about a 300 meter climb up into these mountains here. Uh, so I think I'll risk it and see what I can find up there. Guess we're headed maybe up there. Obviously not all the way up. <laughs> maybe through through the smaller mountains over there maybe. Beautiful, look at this. Okay, no, it's up through here we're going. Woo! Beautiful colors right now. Uh, here, I like these uh, kites to deter the birds. So I guess it's up through these mountains here we're going. Oh, there's a nice bike. Beautiful, and not a car on the road. So peaceful. Over the top. Uh, down slightly into the village.
hope for a park or something. I don't know. <laughs> it has really cooled off up here. This is nice. A little less humid too. Be much better sleeping. This is this is awesome. Just so off the beaten track. Random country road through the mountains. No traffic. Toilet frog. Perfect sports field. I hadn't seen it on my map, but luckily in the dark, I was just able to make out the soccer nets. And yeah, washroom down there. Water here. Perfect. And I was right next to this little stream, which was nice to listen to, to fall asleep. Um, definitely the coldest night so far. Okay. I don't normally drink coffee. But I found this uh, Vietnamese coffee yesterday. And uh, we'll do some coconut milk powder instead of cream. And that's super, that's just fat, basically. <laughs> That'll be my version of bulletproof coffee. Lumpy. <laughs> Usually, you know, a sports field like this would be full of old people walking around it. There was one guy last night when I arrived, he was doing laps around it. Um, but I haven't seen anyone else. That seems unusual to me. Here we go. It's been pretty bleh weather all day. And sure some pretty ugly scenery, factories, and industrial stuff. Busy roads, I finally decided to get off the highway onto the country roads here. It's quieter, but just nowhere near as nice as the last two days have been. Yeah, just a uh, headphones in, head down and pedal kind of day. Uh, we'll see where I end up. I don't know. There. That's my home for the night with all the spiders and insects, I guess. Ugh, I hate these guys. Disgusting. <laughs> for reference, size reference. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, you stay up there. <laughs> oh, I hate spiders. Oh well, okay, get the tent up quick. Good morning. Check this out. Oh, it's fading already. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that wasn't too bad. Nice and windy. Oh, but here, yeah, we got some rain starting. 
I think today partly rain and tomorrow all day rain for the last two days back to Seoul here. So, yeah. Just a few greenhouses, hey? Ice cream break at Hanado Mart. So my last night, don't know where I'll sleep. It's starting to rain. Only about 90 kilometers left. So I can do all that tomorrow or even, so wherever I find somewhere next. This city is uh, really ghetto. I don't know. Oh, there's a nice room I can sleep tonight, eh? I don't know what's going on with this city. These are all like empty shops, abandoned. I don't know. Weird, very weird mix. Okay, a little more lively here. It's just still super old feeling. <laughs> oh, that was a cold night. It's supposed to get even windier here for the next few hours, so I don't think I can cycle. I need to find some better shelter. for another couple hours here and um, then the typhoon kind of passes up along its way. You may ask why am I even cycling right now? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not going to spend another night in this wet tent. Everything's wet and I don't want to pay for a hotel. So I got to do the 80 kilometers today. Um, so I'll just keep chipping away at it. I got big and dry this bus bus stop is oh, hang out here for a while oh man <laughs> uh, make some more coffee warm up dry off <laughs> that wind just makes it so cold the water on the on the street when I go through the puddles the water's really warm that wind is, man. Not used to it after the, you know, 35 degrees in Jeju Island, eh? It's a little windy, eh? Ah! Getting there. <laughs> Had the wind with me for a while. That was nice. <laughs> 